Tonight, a class action lawsuit against Boston-based DraftKings and FanDuel. Some players claiming it is not a fair game. A Kentucky man claims the fantasy sports sites were negligent and ripping off customers. Now, these lawsuits come just days after the sites were accused of insider trading. Katie Brace is live in our satellite center tonight. Katie? And Lisa and Dave, the lawsuit al alleges that while the sports fans were playing their fantasy teams, well, the odds were stacked against them, but the odds were overwhelmingly for the employees of the two companies who are playing on each other's sites. Football's already exciting. This is taking it to a whole nother level. The commercials drew season-long fantasy football players to quicker winning day games on websites DraftKings and FanDuel. These two cousins have played. It's a lot of studying and... Uh... It's tough. Though. Players pick athletes for their own teams and win money based on performance. Unlike Justin Resendiz, who studied up, a class action lawsuit says the company's employees had an insider knowledge and used that knowledge for an unfair advantage playing on each other's sites. The lawsuit says DraftKings employees won at least $6 million playing FanDuel. That's a lot more than a lot of other players. And I win a couple bucks. I used to be pretty good at it. Everyone should have like a fair chance of. Of the shot I win. And Attorney General Moore Healy also wants to make sure that happens. Those who play um, want to be and expect to be assured a level playing field. And I think that, particularly as somebody who cares about consumer protections, I think it's really important to make sure that that, that is in place. Sports gaming does not fall under gambling regulations. Healy said she has reinvited the companies to talk with her office. The accusations of an unfair advantage already have some former fans crying foul. It's messed up, really. It's not, it's not right. Now, the companies already had policies in place where employees could not play on their own site. This week, both companies included each other's site. Now, we reached out to both. FanDuel said no comment, and DraftKings did not get back to us. Reporting live in the Satellite Center, Katie Brace, WBZ News. Lisa. Thank you, Katie.